Hello guys and welcome back to another Profile Tree Wix YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a favicon on your Wix website. So yes, we'll go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, we're on our dashboard and we've got our web design Belfast. I'm just trying to finish up this website now. So uh, there's a couple of last bits and pieces left to do. However, when I was testing the website, I did notice that there's no favicon, which I'll show you now. So as you can see here, I've got two of my home or my home page there, and as you can see, there's a Wix favicon and there's a GoDaddy favicon. However, my own site uh, doesn't have the Web Design Belfast that it shows, but we'll go ahead and we're going to be fixing that today. So first, you want to make sure you're at your dashboard, and on our left side here, we've got our menus item. If we click just at settings here, we'll be brought up to the general area. And as you can see, we've got our website settings. And just below it, it says manage your site's name, URL, favicon, and more. That's what we're targeting there, favicon. Go ahead and click on that. If you do wish to change your website name, you can do so. And you can see that you can also change the URL if you want to. and that all depends on the domains uh, but we're, we're here for the favicon so we'll go ahead and upload an image so it'll bring you up to this screen and as you can see I've already got my I've already got my uh, logo sorry uh, but you can choose to upload to media you can choose any of the if there is a logo in Wix you can do so you can have a look but we'll, we'll go ahead and click on our one. We'll choose that file. Uh, as you can see, it's not so great with the adjustment. That's what we're seeing there. So we can remove that and we can try this one, maybe. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to do some adjustment with it. So let's see. Okay, so if you guys ever struggle with that, you can go to the resize area and it just depends on the size of the item. Maybe we can just try to adjust it a little bit and we'll see how that goes. It's just a little bit of tinkering with this uh, logo design. Uh, one second, guys. Right guys, sorry about that. Um, so, as you can see here, um, I've got my favicon on, and that's what it's sort of showing, but it can be a circle or it can be a square for mine since it is a square. So, um, I have got that sorted now. And once you do get it all done up, uh, it will look a little bit like this. So. Once you've got this sorted, you can just, um, I'll just demonstrate it again. So you can just update the image and then you can click on one of the ones here. I clicked on the 70 by 70. Um, so you can resize it. It just usually depends if it will work. But I also use a, um, I do recommend if you use a favicon app icon generator. And th this one here uh, seems to give you the code as well. Or you can just download it uh here and then as you can see you can just apply it onto the favicon area and yes let me show you guys how it looks so there you go there you go guys uh as you can see here uh if you look on the right side there i've got my web design belfast favicon on so yes, uh, there you go. That's just a quick, simple tutorial on how to get your favicon on. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave them down in the comment section below. And yes, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.